Hello and welcome to my factorial let's play episode 14 of my track and train series as you just saw the train go there I have managed to actually get it fixed I found out I didn't need to use these smart inserters even though you can if you want to I just found all I needed to do instead of having the fast inserters placed on this side it wasn't actually unloading for some reason I placed it on the other side set them up and as you can see there's nothing in here at the moment but this belt goes all the way up here and connects and we now have copper which is cool so now if we just place a fast inserter to insert copper just like so and there as you can see it's set on automatic we have a look at it as you can see the base for 20 seconds and the copper field is the 25 seconds and we have one other station just over here but we'll quickly hook this um, copper line up so it can start refueling the train when it needs it We'll let that scroll along as you can see we've got one here so if we get our train out and spin it that way and if I go meet you down at the iron field we can rock and roll Train journey. Okay, and we are almost there now. It's a fair bit of a journey. Can I slow this baby down? As you can see, I've already got another train here and a cargo wagon. Can we stop? Oh no, no, maybe not. Okay, we'll unplug that. Now, if we grab our train and hook it up and chuck some more coal in there we're good to go basically we're just going to hook the iron up so we can get some more iron because we are badly needing it like nobody's business so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hook some of these conveyor belts up and let's spin these babies around run these out just like so oh you won't want to want oh no place that there like so and just like so then that should when we provide these power when we provide these power we should get going and I'm miles away give me power yum yum oh what are you kidding me oh it just has to be doesn't it let's use one of these big mummers And place that there. Walk around. Shoot some basic power poles. Just for these ones. Okay. Okay, why isn't that working? Okay, hold on guys, I'll be back in a sec. Hello, and we're back! I have figured out for some reason, not too sure, maybe you guys can help me out on this. For some reason, one side of my train just doesn't seem to load, which is the side I'm standing on now. I found I had to bring it around the other side. So before we head back, why don't we set up 
a couple more of these. Spin them around like so. Rearrange that one, place that there. Let it load. Let's see how much iron we got. Why not? That's a fair hefty amount. So basically, now we've got the iron thing set up. All we need to do now is place where is it? The train stop just here. And now if we name this, say, Iron Hall, set name, so Iron Hall, sweet as, now if we get in the train and hit that, if we go Iron Unload, Add, go to station, run the station and here we go hopefully we will not smash into the other train that is working oh dear god I hope not just like so okay we head out okay I offset that a little bit but that's no biggie that's a quick fix. So where are we? We want it to go boom, boom, just like so. Now we grab our chests down just like we set the other one up, copper one. Now if we place our conveyor belt along here, and off that train goes again. Haha. -ha. Have I got enough? Yes, I have. Now, if we hook these guys up with power, voila, we have iron. Yes, and that's excellent. I'll let that fully unload for now and we'll set that up later on. As you can see, this iron runs through this conveyor belt I set up earlier it's gonna run all the way up here okay we're gonna need some more fuel in a sec to the iron place here so right, okay if we quickly fill these guys up with fuel have I got a conveyor belt no let's make one sweet bung that on there let that run I know how to fix this, I need to get some splitters, but I don't actually have any at the moment, but I promise you guys, I'll fix that next episode, I promise you. So, as we basically have the iron set up and the copper line, we have copper back and iron as well. We have a coal field going over here, which is pretty good. One thing we could do with is a couple of lights. So if I place one here. We have light. Here, and maybe, let's place one. Move, place, that's better. There we go, light this place up a bit. Right, and now we've done that, why don't we set this train? So we want it to go from iron unloading, say if we make that, um, say 25 seconds, and the iron haul, make that say 30 seconds. Go to station. Uh, run. Yeah. Oh, and then we want iron unloading add. No, we don't. Crap, clear. 
We want the iron hall, don't we, Ed? Go to station, boom. So hopefully that should be set. No path, okay. Looks like this guy here. Iron Hall. Go to station, play. And he's going to need some fuel, isn't he? Do we have any fuel on us? Yes, we do. Spin that like that. Give that 50 fuel. Okay, that's set, I think. Oh, and just if you know, you probably already know if you press Alt, it will show you what's in your chests and all your machines, just like demonstration over here. There you go, you can see everything I'm making, which is pretty cool. And if we press T, it looks like I've already done some research ready for oil. So we basically got the train set up. I don't know why that train's not working. But anyway, if we set some of the oil production, because we're going to need some plastic to make some advanced circuits and that, as you can see there's an oil field over here. Why don't we just get rid of all of this for now? Power poles, you're in my so way. All the way back to there. Now if we grab our pump jacks out. Pipes. Some tanks. And what are we going to want next? I think that's all we're going to want for the time being. If we chuck a pump jack there. And a Yeah, okay, you're not going to place, now you're going to place, cool as, and another, mm, why not place one here, here, pump track there, uh, we can hook these up with power, Right, we're back and we have some more pipes and a bit more of what I think we'll need. So, looks like I just wasn't placing these over enough. So now if we, no we don't want the big one, we just grab a small one, chuck that there. As you can see they've all got a little internal capacity, that's why they have stopped at the moment. Now if we join these up, I run over and bung these pipes together, just like so, you can see them going off again. Next we're going to want a tank, so if we put one there, for now, bung these babies down, as you can see, if you have a general look at this, you can tell how well or how much is in the pipe just by seeing how well the um, tank, storage tank, is filling up. So 481, that's pretty good. You may have a little bit where they're pumping to where they're going, but we'll place one of them there for now for temporary oil. Now, if we Bring these up, bring this up a little couple more. Next, we're gonna want the oil refinery. And this is a big mama. I may actually have to rearrange how I'm going to do this. So if we place yeah. if we actually place it there, so might actually want to get rid of a couple of these so I can have some room I'm running out of room looks like this thing needs power as well so where did my 
cool cakes go, power go, right there. Sweet as. Now, if we just place one, two, three, just like so, just for now. We spin these around. Okay, maybe place these not one like that. That and one like that. One there, one there, and if I move that out of the way, place one there, just like so. Here if we click a uh, basic oil production. There we go. And there we have hit the first step on, we are mainly going to be using this one. These two will might come across and might use, but that's the one we mainly need. As you can see, the coal train is going like no tomorrow. So that's the beginning of our oil production. We'll get more into it a bit later on, but if we quickly set up, this has already been for its second trip. I've just set this on a really long delay because I don't need that much iron now at the moment. But we will very soon. So I'll get that train going very soon again. Place these down like so. Oh crap. Just when I thought I had everything. Grab all them conveyor belts. Come on, conveyors. Just a straight conveyor across, just like so. Every place. Come on. Place down. That's better. One there. And the conveyor belt's taking me with me. Gee. One there. And now, if we hook these two up with power. One there, one there, there we go, we have these two filling the train, which is great. So this is this coal field is powering this train and this train. Well, there we go, so we pretty much got most of the trains set, set up, other than the signals, but signals we can work on later. We've got the beginning of our oil production, which is over here. If I can grab a light quickly, let's grab a light. Let's place some lights around, one there, one over here. And if I can run down, we'll place one like that. Say that, there we go, so we've got this. So we've got the jacks working, up and running. Got a temporary bit of oil, which is not too bad for a beginner. And then we've got our three sets of oil. We can work on oil production much later on in the next episode, which is going to be mainly based around oil because we're going to need to get ourselves some plastic so we can work on some really snazzy recipes. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and learned something. Until next time, thank you.